related one more time. And if you want, you can save another piece of that back up. Um, these are back to the control. So let's come back together here real quick and um, let's just do a quick debriefing and see if we can notice a difference or if there's no difference at all. There's, well, there, there is, but it's, it's um, you know, if you think about it, right, if we, if we break down the analogy of this, it's sort of like tasting wine from the same vineyard made by the same winemaker. And the only difference really is what side of the hill the grape might have grown on to see if we can notice the subtlety and difference in regards to flavor. So it's very minute. It's something you have to be sort of in, in tune with. Um, control factor, what do you guys think? What are some of the words that you guys come up with? Milky. Milky, OK. Chewy, Chewy malty. So malt would relate to sweetness, potentially, right, a little bit? Yeah? Anything else? It was like airy, wasn't like dense, it was kind of like fluffy. Okay, I, I, I would agree. I think with all the things that he's saying, you know, usually the milkiness to me goes more to a lactic component in regards to flavor on here. Uh, next one we tasted was no salt. I mean, that was night and day, right? Yeah. To me, the biggest common mistake that you usually get in pizza shops is when you get to a point of where uh, they give you pizza dough and they forget the salt in it. Um, it's definitely, I mean, you can notice it right away. Uh, so people that are saying, cut salt out of dough, it really doesn't do much for it. I mean, it's just wasting calories. Next thing we did is what? High hydration. Do we notice a difference between control factor and high hydration? It's very bland. A little bland? Yeah. I felt like it was chewy, moist, and like dense at the same time. Yeah. Not much control.
control factor. I mean, the only difference is really, if you think about it, it's about 8% of water higher. Sometimes what you can detect, I was surprised we couldn't see more of it, is usually a larger cell structure. That can come down to shaping and handling and you know the whole nine yards. One thing that you can do is, if you look at profile-wise, right? So volume now we've already started to sort of address. Again, it's the same ingredients. More water, more water makes it stickier, makes the dough more slack, and it can't give you the same volume. So volume could be something that we pay attention to besides just flavor. So for someone who's going to buy a bagel, if you feel like flavor doesn't justify a higher hydration, maybe volume is more important than we want to sort of give someone a larger um, product. So that could be one thing to consider. Next thing we tasted is what? Whole wheat. Whole wheat. Um, whole wheat. What do you guys? It's very dense. Dry. It's dense. Definitely dry. Yeah. yeah. Nuttier. Definitely, you can taste that nuttiness, huh? Now, one thing that I usually um, notice is that with whole wheat, if you put a little honey in that dough during the manufacturing phase, you can offset that sort of, I call it astringent, that little sourness that you have, a bitterness that you get. It's not a pleasant bitterness, like a lemon is pleasantly sour, bitter, whatever you want to call it, but the astringent attribute is not very pleasant. So honey will make someone who doesn't like whole wheat potentially buy it. Volume-wise, what do you guys think? It's flat, it's definitely denser, right? It doesn't have as much expansion rate because what cuts through the gluten-forming proteins? What's that? Yes, you got it, I think, right? Get the brain. Okay, so that sort of compromises low volume. Next thing we taste is what? Biga. What do you guys think about the biga? Sweeter. Sweeter? Sweeter than that, okay. Extensible in your mouth kind of video. No, like when it took it apart. Oh, it apart. Yeah. So it broke apart easier. Okay, I didn't even notice that. And um, volume wise, but this is it, right? Yes. So volume wise, what do you guys think? Fine. Comparable, right? Size wise, do you think it's smaller? Are they tendency to be all smaller? From the like if you look at the you know radius of this and the radius of these, do you think there's a change in regards to size potentially? Would it make sense if vegan gives you elasticity, that it's harder to shape a bagel that has more volume, and hence we sort of compromise size, yeah? Yeah. All right, so the last we taste is which one? Sourdough. Sourdough, do you notice anything different there? Yes. Was that the most dramatic flavor differentiation between it, or? Compared to without the salt, I think, like, yeah. that would have been the most yeah, I, I, would, I would agree with that. How can we have maximized more soundness in a bagel like this? There's one thing and it didn't work to my favor in regards to this. Time. Time, that's it right there. More room temperature fermentation could give me more soundness in all of this. So can we agree by just manipulating a couple of key ingredients? We can alter flavor, maybe not to the point where it's a slap in the face where it also starts tasting like a mango or a pear but that there are some flavor differentiation by just slight adjustments in regards to fermentation time. Um, and out of that, everything we pretty much controlled in regards to control factors. Any questions that you guys might have in regards to this? Concerns, complaints? can do is what we're going to do is I'm going to collect these tomorrow so for you. Down. So just write them down there so I can see and reflect back on it as I sort of summarize the grade for you. So we can keep this for you one can more keep day. this for one more day, sort of write in it to take some notes and sort of reflect. You can take some of these home. You might want to taste it later. I just wanted to thank you guys for showing up and being great sports and putting you through this yeah. uh, painstaking process. Oh, oh yes, Sai? Sorry. How, yes. If, when you add things, like we talked about the cinnamon raisins, if yeah. you add raisins, do yeah. adding additives like that affect the way like the structure is going to be. It can, absolutely. So you want to add them at the end of the mixing cycle, you got to make sure your dough is not too tight when you 